Yes. What happened? I read uh, 1920. You were supposed to what, be at 1900? We lost. We yeah, lost well, I mean, geez. It, kept, it wouldn't go. Right it on wouldn't sit huh? on any other number besides Fine. that. It wouldn't go to 1. It wouldn't go That's to 3. Fine. It only went Nothing says that it has to. I mean, there's variables in all the operator's manuals as to whether you do it 18, 19, 2000, whatever. Okay. So the fact that we're using the checker and we know that it's 1920, we still do the math. Right. All right. So we used 1920. We did the math. Uh, what we come up with on the math? Drop to 18 on both. Of them. No, 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 no. It was 220. So it was 200. It went from every time we dropped it. It went from 19. Well, no, 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 no. Because you're so, talking. So 20. So it's like 120. So if it went from 19.2 to 180. Yes. Right. That's, All right. That's 120. That's, 100. that's right. reasonable, right? Is it within limits? It's said 150. Okay, so then it's within limits. Both and they're the right. same. Both of them are the same. Both drop the same amount. Okay. So we're good. I told you, you didn't have confidence. confidence. I had us. confidence in you. <laughs> just not to do confidence. That's all. Confidence. Okay, now just real quick on the mag drop check again. All right, you get the engine, you run it up to warm temperatures. Okay, whatever the operator's handbook says, you set that RPM. It's good not to trust your RPM gauge if you're doing an annual inspection. You're supposed to verify the gauge anyhow. So you get some kind of a calibrated checker out, shoot the prop, set it at the specified RPM, turn one of your magneto switches off, or, or rotate the switch to the left or right position. Note your drop. In this case here, you said it dropped to 18, which was 120. Right. That gauge looked good. Which one? Uh, that, yeah. There's at least 50 RPM well, it's 50 off. off. Is it? Yeah. Okay. When you turn that switch back on or activate that magneto again, you got to let it run for a little bit so that it clears out the spark plugs. Right. Once it stabilizes back out, your RPM checker is reading back the same thing it was. Go ahead and turn the other one off. Go that. You're within 150 drop of both of them and within 50 RPM of each other, then you're good. Now you could actually rotate these bags a little bit one way or the other depending on where they're actually hitting on the timing mark to actually, fine tune it. to actually fine tune that and make it even down a little bit more. Because if it's on the, on the uh, low side coming up and it's hitting and they're doing 120 drop, if, you're on, if you leave it there, you've only got a 30 RPM drop before it's bad again. Does that make sense? So you may want to take and just tap, 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 tap and see if you can't get that up to about 50. Or 75. Does that make sense? Yeah. This is where are, are you are you within limits? Yes. Are you as good as you could be? Maybe not. Yeah. Alright. But this is what you guys have to decide as mechanics. You're doing like you're huh? You're doing like you're no. no, 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 no. <laughs> We're good. Remember what I said? <laughs> Put your synchronizer on there and find out where it's coming. Is is the uh, is the magnetos firing just before? Firing position on the engine, or just after the firing position on the engine. I'll tell you which way you got to rotate it to get it back to that firing position to get the, the optimal mag. It very drop. well could be tightening them down too. They could, could have moved and, and they do. And that's why yeah. I, what I was saying. this is when you put them in there, you know, remember when you tighten it down, the, the, the mounting you need nuts. To hold it. You need to hold it or offset it just a little right. bit, understanding it's going to so move a thirty well, second of an inch when you move, tighten. Though, then you might be off. Your experience will tell how to right. do it. Yeah. What best suits you as a mechanic? You can keep those things in, in in mind so that when you are doing the jobs and things aren't working the way that you thought they should work, the reasons why they're not working. That you got to compensate. You got to compensate for it. Okay. All right. Good job.